So let me just patch it down really quick, and then I'll let you be on your way. Whoa! Oh, ow! Oh, drop the gun! Shoot! Drop it, man! Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, shit! Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Pit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bulletproof Windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just off your 20. Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. This episode is subscriber request by Oceans Bay, and they wanted us to do a St. Charles Police Patrol. That's St. Charles, Illinois. That's like maybe an hour, maybe 45 minutes away from where I am. So I was really excited to do this patrol. Now for this one, we're using the Herx Ford Explorer with a custom skin that I made myself. It took me eh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour to do. Basically, I had to just make sure everything looked right in game after making the textures. Had to make a few you know, minor touches. But basically, I used some photos off the internet just to make sure I got everything looking right. Let's go in first person so you can see. So we got the 27 up there. It was from one of the photos on the internet. And let's see. We got the black and white. Looks freaking awesome. We got St. Charles Police. I think I did an okay job on the actual police with the uh, gray gradient. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then this part right here, it's like their you know, St. Charles logo. So seriously, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then we got on the back here, St. Charles Police. Uh, license plate, you know, St. Charles Police Department River. Because, you know, basically there's a big river that goes through the town. I love driving out to St. Charles, basically. You know, in my Mustang, I would just head out there and just go for a good cruise during the summer. I haven't done too much of driving out there lately. I should probably take the doors off my Jeep and drive out there because it's a fun drive. You just take North Avenue straight to it. And it's a really nice drive out there. So anyways, let's get on patrol here. I hope you guys do enjoy it in Ocean's Bay. Let me know what you think of it. And hey, if you want, maybe we could do a meetup or something because you're not too far away from me. Uh, dispatch, you can show me available. Uh, we are going to be getting on patrol now. Uh, the gas tank is filled up, so we don't need to worry about filling up right now. We're at a gas station right here. Uh, let's see. We got s reports of something over this way. Let's go check it out. Uh, there we go. Dispatch, I've got a visual on the person. Looks like they're stumbling across the road right now. I'll blip them. St. Charles Police Department. Uh, whoops. I forgot to turn on Siren Mastery. Alright, there we go. Got our sirens on. Scroll lock. And let's just get on this side of the road here. Sir, what are you doing? Okay, we gotta try and get this guy out of the road. Sir, stop right there, St. Charles Police. Wow. Hold up. Sir, I need you to come over by me. Dude, okay, let me let me have you uh, follow me over this way, man. Come on, right over here, off the side of the road. All right, you can stop following me. So let me ask you a few questions here. You wanna tell me what you're doing? You're relaxing your soul? Okay, man, I saw you, you're stumbling around, you're walking right into the middle of the street, you're not looking both ways. Always look both ways when you're going across the street. Uh, you want to tell me where you came from today? From a friend's home. And where were you headed to? You have the right not to answer that? Okay, that's fine, man. That's fine. Uh, have you been drinking today? Uh, you've never had a drink in your life. Uh, you want to explain to me why you're stumbling around? Do you need EMS? Medical services? Or are, are you good? Uh, have you done any drugs recently? You've been clean for a year? Okay, sir, uh, do you have a warrant for your arrest? You can't remember? Okay, and then do you live around this neighborhood? No? Okay, cool. So just hang in there for a second. Uh, you got your ID on ya. Get All right, thank you, Thanks. Mr. Nichols. All right, uh, dispatch, I need a pet check on Brian Nichols, born 526-2000. Just hang in there, man. License valid, no active warrants. Okay, roger that. Okay, so everything checks out, man. I'm just going to need to get a quick breathalyzer test, if you'll consent to that. Yeah? Okay, cool. So I'm just having to get blown to this breathalyzer. Just make sure you're not a danger to yourself, because you were walking around. All right, keep blowing. Keep blowing. Appreciate All right, cool, it. man. Thank you. Uh, zero. Okay. That's a little odd. So I'm going to have you do this drug swab test as well. 
and then I'll let you get out of here. All right, there we go. Thanks. Thank you, sir. And negative. Okay. So are you sure you're good? Because you, you're stumbling around. Are you dehydrated? I do have some water in my truck. You're good? Okay, man. You're free to go, then. Just be safe, okay? Go Seriously, on. watch your look both ways Oosh. next time you cross the road, okay, man? All right. Have a great day, man. All right, dispatch. We are code for um, that one. Uh, the suspect is fine. He was not on any alcohol or anything. All right. Uh, so let's get back on the road here. Let's flip over this way. There we go. And dispatch, we're heading east on US Route 68 right now. Uh, one thing is, yeah, with these, you know, custom patrols, I can't do anything about the street names or anything. It just, that would be really impossible to change all the street names for one episode. But now if there's a full conversion mod for, say, Chicago, and they change the street names and everything, that would be awesome. But I don't think that's possible. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know if that is actually possible. Anyways, let's see what the day brings. Uh, dispatch, we're heading east on US Route 68 now. We're going to be passing the second gas station. So just throw any calls my way. But I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this vehicle. I think I did a pretty good job on it. It looks we really good. Armored on, car um, robbery. Oh, shoot. We're right down the road, dispatch. We're going to respond to that code three. Let's get our lights on, stage three. St. Charles Place, move out of the way. Dispatch, whoa, 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 whoa. Dispatch, we're gonna need to get additional units down here. We've got a visual on the van. Uh, whoa, okay, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Let's get out here. Don't hit me, dude, don't hit me. Let's get my shotgun out here. Drop it, St. Charles Police, drop it. Shoot, let's light him up, light him up. We gotta watch our crossfire. The freaking security guard's right there. Shoot, we got somebody behind us switching my sidearm. Don't do it, dude. Drop it. Drop it. Shots fired, dispatch. We got multiple, uh, multiple suspects. We need additional we units down here. Code three, right now. They're still trying to open fire on us. We got multiple, uh, multiple perps over by the motel as well, behind the vehicle. Oh, oh no! I just accidentally punched the security guard in the face try and take this guy out. We got another guy behind a Hummer, too. Dispatch, where's my backup? St. Charles Police, drop the weapons right now. Drop it. Nope, okay, you're down. Shoot, I got hit in the vest, dispatch. Shoot, where are they? I don't see them. Oh, there we go, there we go. Take him down, take him down. Drop it, dude, drop it. Okay, you're gonna keep pulling that gun on us. Reloading, reloading. Shoot, oh, that was a close one. Whew. Are you good, boys? Dispatch, we're gonna need to get EMS down here immediately. We got one security guard down, and one, two, Medical three, four, five, six perps, seven perps, make that seven. We have Sandy uh, we'll secure their weapons right here. Holster my sidearm. They got AK-47s, damn. Uh, MP5, are you freaking serious? And a shock, this crew was freaking fully loaded. Damn, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Seriously, hit that like button if you do. And, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. We have a freaking cycle with a freaking gun. Okay, roger that dispatch. We'll head over there in one moment. Secure that evidence. Um, I'm not going to search the van because we have a cycle with a gun. Local law enforcement will deal with that. And we're going to try and get over there immediately. Uh, let's see. We should be able to do a little off-roading here. So let's drive up over this way, get that put away, and here we go. This looks like a decent spot. Drive through this. Don't want to run over any rabbits. Watch the rabbits, George. Uh, let's see. Let's get the... Oh, boy. Oh, that was a little rough. No big deal. Let's get over this way now. Dispatch, we're arriving on scene to the second location now. St. Charles Police Department, drop the weapon right now, dude. St. Charles Police Department, drop the weapon. Oh, no, I'm getting out on the wrong side. That's not good. Sir, stop running right now. Get down on the ground. Police Department, let's go. Going to get my taser out just in case. St. Charles Police, get down on the ground, dude. Stop trying to run. All right, dispatch, we're heading south on Sonora Road. We're inside the little uh, dirt track. The I believe it's a construction yard. But basically, we have a bunch of racers that come here during the weekends and you know, try to have a little fun. Taser, taser, taser. You're down, buddy. All right, show me your hands. Don't Police, screw around. Hands up now. Down on the ground, buddy. Let's go. Face first, down on the ground. 
Yes, I don't care if there's water down there. Get your face in that water right now. All right, let's get get your face in the water, dude. Get freaking on the ground. All right, dispatch, we have Gordon Darling in custody. All right, let's try and question this guy now. If it'll let me, there we go. Ah, uh, man, you want to tell me what you were doing? Waiting for a friend with a gun pointed at somebody. What was that about? Oh, what gun? You don't think I saw that? Seriously, dude, are you stupid? All right, have you been drinking today? I don't smell alcohol on you. Okay, have you done any drugs recently? Because you're acting crazy. No? Okay, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stand me, poke me, or stick me? Perhaps you have something? That doesn't really help me out too much. Okay, do you live around here, man? Uh, because I'm the police and you just pointed a gun at somebody. Do you have a warrant for your arrest? You know? Okay. Dispatch, let me get a ped check on... Where's your ID, man? Uh, Gordon Darling, born 921-1992. Suspect does have a warrant. All right, thank you. All right, so you do have a warrant for your arrest. And uh, let's get you patted down now. So turn around for me. I'm going to pat you down now, see what you got on you. And then we'll be taking you down to the jail. Uh, dispatch, we're searching the suspect now. All right. Quadratech catalog, bottle of prescription medicine in someone else's name, and a grenade. That's a hollowed out grenade. Those things are freaking cool. Anyways, uh, dispatch, let's get a transport unit down here. The Redwood Lights Track. A suspect placed under arrest in uh, the Redwood Lights Track. All right, Wait, thank you, dispatch. Roger. All right, so I guess it's not actually a construction yard. Well, I, uh, yeah, it is a construction yard. They're building the red, like, they're building the racetrack. Okay, so that makes sense. Ooh, nice Dodge Ram you got there, officer. Uh, do you like that truck? I gotta say, that is a badass truck. I do like my Ford Explorer, though. It's, it's, both, both vehicles are really freaking cool. All right, officer, have a great day, man. All right, dispatch, we're code four on this one. Uh, EMS, I believe, is on the scene at the Thank last uh, location. So let's see if we can get over there, see if they're able to revive them. Oof, that Ford Explorer is so good. I've been using the Herx Ford Explorer for... Hmm, has it been almost two years? It probably has. Maybe a year and a half. Like, I've been using this Ford Explorer forever. It just, it's so good looking. And you can put a front bumper on, or you can put the brush guard on it. You can take the brush guard off like I have it like this. You got a slick top. They also have... Or they have a slick top, or they have what I have with the light bars on top. But, all right, anyways, whatever. Let's get inside the vehicle. Ooh, and the interior too. Let me let me guess. Let me show you guys the interior really quick. The gauges, the gauges work, and the LEDs in it look so freaking good. You got the police computer there, um, and then you got the cage in the back. Like it's such a high quality model. And you got the dome light up there as well, and the map light. All right, let's flip around this way. Uh, nobody was able to get revived. What about the security guard that I accidentally punched in, in the face? Uh, Plato Bay. Uh, Plato Bay? What's the call for? Okay. Uh, whoops. Okay, a code Adam. Roger that dispatch. We could head over there. Uh, so I need to find how to get out of here. There we go. And we'll just flip down this way, get to the road. Let's see, how far do we need to go? Oh, Plato Bay, that, that's far. Okay, so we'll be there in like 15 minutes or so. So I'll see you guys once we get a little closer to the scene because it's a pretty far drive. Dispatch, we're gonna be arriving on scene in a moment. We're just behind uh, three motorcyclists right now. Uh, I could go around them, but I don't want to spook them, so we're good. Whoa, 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 careful. Okay, people, you gotta be careful. Uh, dispatch, we are arriving at the gas station now. Uh, let's get stage two lighting on. There we go, beautiful. And, okay, what is going on? Uh, dispatch, we're on scene now. Uh, let me get a plate check on this van. License plate is 49KEQ123. It's a burrito. Suspect's license plate. Cole Anderson, zero Edward citations, no Queen. flags. One, two, Roger three, that. No, 10, uh, whoa! There's a guy under the freaking truck right now, dispatch. 
Uh, I'm going to try to move it. We'll, we'll see if I'm able to move it. Uh, let's kind of back over this way. And... Oh. Carefully back over him there. There we go. Uh, dispatch, we're going to need to get EMS down here. Let me see. Can I speak Attention with this woman? Medical aid requested in Hello, ma'am. St. Charles Lake Police Department. Can you tell me what you saw? Lake Tobay. Units respond code 3. Right, it doesn't look like I can talk to her, so let's try this. Wow! Hold up! There we go. Stop the ped menu. Thank you. Uh, let's question her. Uh, ma'am, so what the heck happened here? You want to tell me what's going on? Why do I care? Uh, there's a guy under the truck right now, and we had reports of the Code Adam, so I'm thinking he tried to kidnap you or something. And maybe you ran him over with the truck? Is that what happened? Uh, you want to tell me where you came from? You have the right to not to answer. Okay, where were you headed to? Going to see a friend. Okay, ma'am, do you have a warrant for your arrest? Maybe from another state. Okay, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke me, or stick me? Nothing illegal on you? Okay, ma'am, so I'm going to pat you down, so if you could turn around for me. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, we'll get a pet check on her in a second here. Just want to see what she's got on her. Dispatch, we're searching the suspect now. EMS is arriving on scene as well. Attention, this is dispatch. A school bag, a forged FBI badge, a taser, and a Maze Bank credit card. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to need you to have your hands behind your back for me. You ain't never Turn around. getting out of prison. Turn around for me. What What is up with this fake FBI badge, huh? Alright, so dispatch, I'm going to need to get a pet check on her. Uh, let's see, where's my pet check? There we go. Uh, Amora Santos, born 4-3-1987. Licensed valid active warrants. Okay, I found a forged FBI badge on her. And there was a guy under a minivan. EMS is going to try to revive him. We'll see. Ma'am, you're going to be going away for a long time if he doesn't survive this. I don't care if he tried to kidnap you. You can't, you can't have the fake FBI badge. Like, that story doesn't even add up. Why do you have a fake FBI badge on you? All right, so they were able to revive him, so we'll be able to question him. Now, he might have tried to kidnap her, or maybe she tried to kidnap him with the FBI badge claiming she's, you know, an FBI agent trying to arrest him or something. That's more likely what's going on. All right, so dispatch, we're going to need to get a prisoner transport down here to the gas station. Procopio drive. Right, thank you, dispatch. Let's get over here and search the van and, well, see if it's got anything in it. Let's grab some more Red Bull. Mmm. Red Bull. Oh, Red Bull, please sponsor me. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos do go up. All right, what do we got? Binoculars, Trevor Phillips Industries business card, a bottle of Quantum Coat engine treatment. Well, they know what's up. Some jewelry in a bag and nothing of interest. Okay, well, maybe I'll take that bottle and put it in my Ford Explorer right now. Uh, dispatch, we're going to need to get a uh, tow truck down here for this burrito. All right, thank you, dispatch. And then the transport unit is somewhere. There we go. Hey, officer. Yep, right here. Alright, thank you, officer. Have a great day, man. I dispatched rear code 4 on this one. Can show me available. Alright, so we're going to get back over to where we were patrolling before because we're pretty far from that location. So I'll see you once we get back over there. Citizens reporting a suspicious, a suspicious parked car. In uh, roger that, dispatch. We're right down the block. We'll be there in about 10 seconds or so. Units respond code 2. Respond code 2. Roger that. All right, let's see. So we have a suspicious parked vehicle. There we go. Ooh, actually, it might be that blue one right on the other side of that sign. Oh, let me get across this right there. And, yeah, this is definitely the vehicle, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yep. Dispatch, let me get a plate check on this vehicle. Uh, it's a Stainer, license 53 FAS 546. Suspect's license plate. Holly five, Woodward, three, one Graham, citation, Adam, no flags. Graham, five, All right, four, roger that. Six, Let's get stage no, ten, two lighting on. Or is that stage three? That might be stage three. 
All right. Uh, due to conflicts of vehicle availability, please transport is despawned. Okay, we'll ignore that. Uh, what? Whoa, hey man. Uh, St. Charles Police Department, what's going on, ma'am? Reveal dialogue options. Hi, what's going on? I'm just chilling out in my car. Okay, ma'am. Uh, what are you smoking there? Oh, it's just a cigarette. Conversation is over. Okay, proceed with your investigation, pet check, search. Okay. So, ma'am, I'm going to need your ID. Uh, dispatch, I need a pet check on a Holly Woodward, born 11 3, 1996. License and bad luck, Okay, so she does check out there. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to need to move your vehicle out of the way. Just give me a second here. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk to you. And, man, this is a freaking awesome color on this car. Seriously. That seriously looks freaking awesome. Okay, now, let me speak with Wait you. Up. Okay, man, let me ask you a few questions. So, you want to tell me again what you were doing? You needed some fresh air, so you were having a cigarette? Okay. Uh, do you live around this neighborhood, ma'am? Because um, I'm St. Charles Police Department, that's why. So, do you have anything illegal on you, ma'am? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke or stick me? Maybe yes, maybe no. And then I'm going to ask you again. Have you taken any drugs recently? No drugs make you sick. Okay. So then what I'm going to do now is give you a drug test. So just stand there and put this in your mouth. All right, right there. And there, there we go. Beautiful. Thanks. All right, thank you. Uh, negative, 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 negative. Okay. So let me just pat you down really quick, and then I'll let you be on your way. Whoa! Oh, drop the gun! Shoot! Drop it, man! Drop the gun right now! Let's go! Down on the ground! Dispatch, I need additional units over here. She pulled the gun on me. I managed to kick her to the ground. She's surrendering now. Hands behind your back right now. Holy jeez, that got me. Whoa, okay. Now you're gonna be going down to the jail for a felony. Uh, let's pat you down now, since you didn't want me to pat you down before. Alright, stand still. Don't try anything stupid. You could have got blown away there, man. A baggie of the green stuff, a lighter, and a wallet. Okay, so she does have a baggie of the white or the green stuff, but she wasn't actually smoking it. Um, so let's get a prisoner transport down here, dispatch. And let's secure her weapon. There we go. And let's search her vehicle as well. There we go. Uh, there's the transport unit. Hey, officer. A pair of gloves, postcard from Los Angeles, train ticket harmony. Okay, so nothing else illegal. Uh, dispatch, we're going to need to get a tow truck down here as well. Uh, thank you, dispatch. Uh, let's go over on this side. Man, this truck looks freaking awesome. Okay, guys. So I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Seriously, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Maybe hit that like button. That does help me out when you do that. And, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos do go up. All right, guys. Take it easy.